It's taken two years, seven months, and 16 days. But today, on this famous, famous day, Ernesto Valverde has been sacked as coach of Barcelona. And I am absolutely hyped for it. Let's do this. Barca, Barca, Barca. Hello and welcome to Talk FCB, guys. And what a day it has been for us Barcelona fans. The party is just getting started here. There's so much to come. There's so much to discuss. There's excitement in the air. We are all absolutely hyped and I cannot wait. I cannot wait to sit down with you guys to discuss all of the things we have to look forward to. Finally, the day has come. It is absolutely unbelievable. So without further ado... Let's get on to it. And what a day it is for us Barcelona fans. This is the day, this is the moment that we've all dreamt about. And that's no exaggeration. We never fully believed this day would come. It couldn't be true. It couldn't happen, could it? It has. It has happened. Ernesto Valverde is no longer at Barcelona. We are free of Ernesto. And our club is back in our hands. We will rise again. We've stuck around for two and a half seasons. It's been tough. It's been very, very difficult to see the positive side but each and every one of you have stuck with me I'm so thankful for that and now the journey it really does begin Valverde is sacked as coach of Barcelona and in the words of FC Barcelona themselves in an official statement which was a long time in the making as we're going to talk about in a moment but finally they told us all Valverde is gone they said the club publicly expresses its gratitude to Ernesto Valverde for his professionalism for his commitment for his dedication and his always positive treatment towards all that make up the Barca family we wish him luck and success in the future. And look, I just want to say that Barcelona have had their problems. Barcelona may still have their problems in the future. And I do believe that Valverde was a huge cause of everything we've seen over the past two and a half seasons. But I have to also be fair and say it was not all Valverde's fault. He shouldn't have to take the blame for every single thing. I do wish him all the best in the future. I do thank him there for the two La Liga titles. And I do believe all of this situation should have been conducted much, much better. But for me, for all of us, I'm so, so happy. Our club, it's coming back. And just you wait until we talk about his successor. But if we just take a moment here to really analyse exactly how we came to be at this precisely beautiful moment in time whereby Valverde is no longer the Barcelona coach, but believe me, it took some real time. It took some serious waiting. Us Barcelona fans recently, we have been through so many different emotions. If Barcelona, what they really have taught us is so much patience. Because right throughout the day, it started, of course, with a training session for the first team. Who was leading that session? But Ernesto Valverde himself. He was actually there. You saw him with the players. I would love to have known exactly what was said there in that training session. Because he must have known his time there was coming to an end. Because straight down after that training session, he went to meet Bartomeu, who arrived at the training complex. That in itself is a rarity. Bartomeu doesn't usually randomly appear at the training sessions. Valverde met with Bartomeu face to face, and in that meeting, it was said there that Bartomeu hadn't arrived to sack Valverde straight away. He wasn't going to jump into that decision. We all know Bartomeu would never do that to Valverde, but Bartomeu met there with Ernesto. They sat down face to face, and apparently in that meeting, Bartomeu actually apologized to Valverde for publicly humiliating him over the past few days with our public pursuit of Xavi Hernandez. And also in that meeting, apparently Valverde there again refused to resign. He wasn't interested at all in offering his resignation. And he basically said to Bartomeu, according to reports, if you want to get rid of me, the decision there, it lies with you. You've got to make that choice. Basically saying, if you want me out, you're going to have to fire me. Valverde here, you can see him leaving the training ground. That there was when the session and the meeting were over he's got a big smile on his face and that's what I mean here a lot of people will say you know what they feel sorry for the way Valverde has been treated and I'm going to come on to it later I don't think we've gone about this in a good way at all but at the 
the end of the day, this guy has been on over 20 million euros every single year, and he's leaving now with a big payout still. So Valverde certainly has probably been treated quite badly in the past few days, but in the two and a half years he's been here, we've certainly been on the receiving end of it. And it was then after that face-to-face -face meeting between Valverde and Bartomeu that Bartomeu then went to meet the rest of the board members, the really prominent members there we spoke about yesterday, even in the likes of Eric Abidel, Oscar Grau, Javier Bordas, all of the big hitters were in a meeting once again to basically talk about what they should do. Bartomeu has always been the one who's been holding this up. He's always been the one who's wanted to keep Valverde after Liverpool, after Roma, after the Copa del Rey final. It was always Bartomeu saying to the rest of the board, you know what, we should keep him. But this time around, the opinions there of the likes of Abidal and the big prominent board members that weren't Bartomeu, the opinions were too strong. They wanted Valverde gone, and I think to be honest, it was a case there of Bartomeu could only say no so many times. This time, he felt like he had to get rid of Valverde, and I want to say here, a big shout out and a massive thank you to VAR and Angel Correa, because Atletico Madrid knocking us out of the Super Cup, I never imagined that would lead there to Valverde sacking. I cannot believe, really, the club have done it after the Super Cup and didn't do it after the Champions League. But look, nobody's complaining. We are elated. And even after those meetings had taken place, still from Barcelona, there was no official announcement. We were all sat around waiting. We were refreshing social media, just waiting, waiting, waiting for that confirmation that Valverde was going to be gone. But still, it didn't appear. And things started to get a little bit mysterious, a little bit curious there, when Barcelona, out of nowhere, said, you know what? Tomorrow is going to be a double training session. That's something I don't even need to tell you, but that's something there that Valverde has never done during a season at the club as a coach. And straight away you were thinking there, a double session. That's interesting. Usually they use a double session to have more time with the players. In pre-season it's used there, and especially with new coaches there, to have time to put across their ideas. A double session tomorrow, we all felt then. Valverde, surely is on his way out. And after that then, the news was filtering through right the way through the Spanish media that Valverde indeed was going to be relieved of his duties. He was going to be sacked there as the Barcelona manager and it was Bartomeu himself who informed Valverde he would not be continuing as the coach. And from then on, it was all about the formalities. Valverde's agent was in Barcelona. Like I say, Valverde will be leaving there with a compensation for ending his contract early. That all had to be negotiated, that all had to be agreed and signed there with Valverde's agent agent. That took up some time and the other time was spent again in board meetings because after Valverde was taken care of, then the board was sitting down analysing who should succeed him and that now is where we move on to. Because I present to you, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the brand new coach of FC Barcelona. It's Kike Setien. Am I dreaming? Am I actually dreaming? I never, never could have imagined this would happen. That Valverde would be sacked and Bartomeu, this board, they would replace him with Kike Setien. Is it our birthday? Um, is it our birthday? I mean, this is absolutely unbelievable. Setien signs it on a contract. It's a big one too, until the 30th of June 2022. So he right now is down to be the coach until well beyond the end of this presidential reign. Setien there, signing on the dotted line. He'll be presented as the Barcelona coach tomorrow. And believe me, guys, on the channel here, there is going to be so so much content coming up. I am so excited for this. Setien, for me, is an absolutely brilliant appointment. I think he's going to bring back the roots of our club, the identity, the philosophy, the belief, the hope, the excitement, all of the things that Valverde sucked out of this club. I honestly believe Kike Setien can bring us back to it. He can bring the love back for FC Barcelona in the way that we want it. That's what we want. We want fun. We want excitement. We want attacking football. We want to see our youth. We want to see progression. Kike Setien is the man. I'm really excited about this appointment. And of course, guys, in the coming hours, I'm probably going to have to get some sleep. But after that, 
Oh, I'll be back. Seti N, everything you need to know, how he played at Betis, how he played at Las Palmas, how he holds himself, what he thinks of football as a coach. It is all going to be coming up. Oh, this is going to be incredible. I'm so excited, guys. I hope you are too. Thank you all for your incredible patience. It's been a very, very long day. Thank you for your continued support right throughout the Valverde era. But right here on Talk FCB, a new era. It's just beginning. And from there... We will continue soon. But until next time, as always, Fisca El Barca. Okay.